What's up guys? My name is Matt. And in this video, we're going to be making a dungeon guide for the Moshugan Palace. Moshugan Palace is one of the mid-level dungeons from the Mist of Pandaria uh, expansion. First thing you want to do is grab your quest and head over to this side. Watch out for the patrols. And we've got to clear these two mobs to go through the door. Come on, come on. All right, now we're rolling. Okay, we're going to pull through the door. Good call on the tank there. There we go. Get him away from the patrols. Okay. Well, we got some. We did get the patrol. Okay. Ooh, we got more. Man, somehow a bunch of stuff got pulled. Not quite sure what happened, but the healer's on 4%, which is not a good thing. Healer's dead, so I'm going to go ahead and turn Taunt on. Get some Mend Pet going. Just try to survive this. I think we're going to be okay. Okay, groups back together, taunt is back off for the pet, and we'll make our way towards the first boss. Oh, healer just said he was back too far, so he pulled the patrol. No big deal, stuff happens all the time. If it wasn't unpredictable, the game wouldn't be exciting, right? Okay. Good. Here we're going to head into the first room where we're going to have the first boss fight to clear out these patrols. I'm sure there's nobody behind me here as I position myself. Got some whirlwind AoE to watch out for. And in general, guys, I have found since I'm doing videos for both at the same time right now, whatever happens to pop in my queue, I'm doing both Cataclysm and Mist Dungeon. The Mist Dungeons are way easier overall than the, at least the first Cata Dungeons. For some reason, I remember that it got easier as you get to the later Cata Dungeons, but the first ones are really tough on the tuning. So what's going to happen is you're going to come in here, um, and these clans are all fighting each other, guys. And so... One of these will just randomly pop forward. As the first guy you fight, you got to kind of defeat a champion from every clan. And what's going on is all these guys will basically blame each other for um, kind of the you guys being in there in the downfall. And they'll say, oh, the other two clans are conspiring against me. That kind of a thing. So they'll come forward and we'll defeat the champion for them. Okay, we got a shockwave to watch out for there. And I'll disengage so I don't take fall damage. Okay, that one's done. That's the first. Now one of these two guys will pop forward. Whoever's feeling saucy. Okay, this is the dude.
Okay. And we got the last dude right here. Once you down him, this encounter will be over, and then you can head on to the next part, guys. We look at the quest that we have here for the Moshigan Palace. Zin, the Weapon Master, is the last boss. And then we've got some Relics of the Four Kings. And that's the part that's, uh, you collect some chests that are around stairwells. And I'll show you guys where that is as well here. Watch out for the tornado, I'm guessing. Just a guess. Okay, you're going to run over here, you're going to loot your goodies, and then the stairwell will open up, and you're going to head down the stairs. Now you're going to get mobs here in these hallways. I don't remember where they pop, but they pop somewhere along the way. There they are. I think you go down here and you kill him and that triggers. Yep, then, then the elites come. I head over and kill these guys. Okay, up the stairs we go. So that first encounter is called the Trial of Kings. There's the guys I was looking for. I know they were stealthed along here somewhere, I just didn't quite remember where they were. on through <clears throat> now we're about to start that stairwell portion I mentioned earlier that is for our relics of four kings quest and we're gonna go through that Gosh, somebody's ability knocked them off. Okay, so what you're looking for here is these little side panels, guys. Open these up, these chests, and that is how you're going to get all of your relics. So there's a couple on each side, as you guys will see. I think this is the dude that got knocked off. I am taking a mess of damage from... Oh, these guys. Okay, I was like, what in the world is going on here? I think us knocking those mobs over the edge just kind of screwed up our aggro and everything. That's why we have this kind of messy 
encounter going like on the stairs. This is not normally where this happens, guys. So I'm gonna use my heal. Okay, now you can head on down. These guys are normally right here at the top of the stairwell. Come over here to the side. There's going to be another chest right here, guys. That's where you get the bow. Okay, now you got to head up the ramp on this side, too. Okay, once you head up the ramp on this side, there should be two more up here. Kill these groups. Okay. And get your last one. You guys are all set. That's all four pieces that you need for that quest. You can head down here. Well, the rest of the group gets those pieces. I'm going to kind of explain this messy boss fight to you guys. They say it's messy because unless you have a death knight, there's two that are pretty far spaced apart that are awful hard to get to. So you want to try to lock down at least one of the casters and keep them locked down. Okay, and it's the boss with him. Try to misdirect this guy back to the tank. There we go. Got him. So kill these casters first before you even... I know that Gelkin's the boss, and it's like your natural tendency to try to kill him, but trust me, these casters do a lot of damage, so just stay on them. Just trying to see if my trap breaks over there. Just in case it does, I'm going to retrap. Okay. Okay. Once you get this oracle down, you can work. You can kill whichever one you want. Let's see. This guy looks like he's low, so I'll stick with him. And I'll do some throw some AOE in there now that we're dealing with three mobs. Just keep an eye on my trap. Okay, and we just got the boss. Oh, we got one more guy under them too. I'm going to re-trap again. I don't know if the trap will even last the third time, but... Okay, now we just got the boss. That trap should probably break pretty soon if they're under diminished returns. I'm not sure if mobs in this case will be diminished returns or not, so... He's still not free, so we must be doing okay. Okay, then you're going to get your loot over here instead of off the boss's body. Okay, you're going to head back up the stairs and we're going to go on the elevator. Elevator comes and goes many times. The rest of the group will catch up. Don't sweat that. Okay, so while the group has to, you know, that elevator's going to have to go down and up, you're basically going to clear these mobs and go to the left and be in the last boss room, clear a bunch of trash, and then have the last boss. So let me talk about the last boss fight a little bit because it merits talking about it ahead of time because it's so gnarly. Um, there is a way to minimize some of the damage, which is pulling the boss across a huge boss room all the way back to a door um, so that you don't get hit by as many of the AoE effects. This boss, Zin the Weapon Master, will have kind of swirling blades and blades shooting in every direction um, the whole time that you're in the boss fight with him. Uh, it's, it's really substantial. Uh, it's pretty hard to stay alive, to tell you the truth. Especially, gosh, on Heroic, it's, it's just brutal. So, um, that being said, um, you know, it's, it's one of those things where you're like, just do as much damage and do everything you can to stay alive. Just use every trick in the book. Um, and hope that you have a really good healer that can overheal. Um, I'm going to ask the group, 
Does everyone know how to do the last boss? Okay. Okay, I will explain. Boss has tons of AOE ground effects. If we pull him back to the door, much less will hit us. So tank long pulls boss back to entry door. Healer intense fight. This spot I'm standing, tank the the boss here. So if you pull the boss back here, what happens is you're able to kind of stay out of the big craziness of this room of stuff flying everywhere and also lets the healer be able to chain. Like if you have a shami and he does chain heal, it'll let it get everybody in the group instead of everybody spaced out and just running for their lives. Um, or if you have a totem, it'll stay near it. Shamis are good for this boss fight. After these four mobs die, everyone please go to door. I'll misdirect boss to tank. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and dismiss my pet. I'm going to go get the boss for the group. Okay, I'll get my pet back out. Okay, here we go. Okay, so basically the name of the game is find a way to stay alive and do as much damage as fast as possible. See all this crap on the ground, even back here? It's pretty gnarly. But if you look past the boss, if you can see in the background that you see all kinds of whirling blades and stuff, it's nasty. Nasty in that room. Much safer out here by the boss. If you're a if he knocks you up into the air, you'll take fall damage. So if you're a warrior, charge back in from the air. Or if you're a hunter, disengage on the way down. Or a pally, you can quick bubble. Whatever works best. Some groups might not even have any trouble with this fight. It just depends on your group dynamics and how fast you can damage him down. I don't have another. Let's have to take the damage. Okay, heals is down. I'm going to go ahead and turn on taunt. Tank is at 5%. I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to heal myself. Okay, 5% with the pet tank. We got him. Good gravy. And no all good. It's a tough fight. 
Okay, turn your two quests in, guys. One, two, and you are done in 20 minutes and 15 seconds with the Moshugan Palace. That's all there is to it, guys. Um, I hope you guys liked the guide. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow it and help as many players as I can. Hit the little bell icon if you want to get notified of future videos. And thank you guys for spending the time with me. This has been Matt from Light and Darkness signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.